Hey Bernie, Tim Handron, your mayor here. Today is uh, July 8th. Just wanted to give you the next mayor's minute. We had a uh, special call at city council meeting last night and the purpose of that meeting was to uh, interview the candidates who had applied to fill the, the vacated seat in District 4 where Brian Fowler used to be. We had three great candidates. Uh, we had Bryce Bodie, Graham Luttrell, and Carr Stokes. We talked to all three of those guys and council voted in Bryce Bodie as our newest member of city council to be in District 4. He will be in that seat for the remainder of the term, which is through next May. Um, and you know, one interesting thing about Bryce Bodie that in case you don't know him, he's been in this community a long time and he has a degree in urban planning. I think he's gonna be a great addition to our council. Let's just talk real quick about COVID-19 numbers in Kendall County. We've had a total now of 109 cases. As of this morning, there are 50 that are called active. Um, and in that active, I keep doing this in quotes, 41 of those are under investigation, eight are assumed positive, which that just leaves one more that's um, actually known to be active. So the numbers have been on a slight increase, but uh, the message isn't gonna change right now, all right? The message is continue to be responsible. Let's follow the CDC guidelines. Let's honor social distancing. Let's wear our mask. Let's wash our hands. Um, I've been corrected a couple times online. Mine is a mask, but it is wear your face covering when you're in places where you can't guarantee social distancing. That message is not going to change anytime soon. Um, I wanted to remind you of something that we did last month, and that was the Bernie Strong Stimulus Program, where the city took $350,000 of budgeted funds that were allocated for uh, economic development, and we redirected those to go into our community. If you, if you recall, we gave $15,000 each to three different non-profits. Non non -profits. Uh, one was Hill Country Family Services, one was Hill Country Daily Bread, and the other was the Kronkowski. Those three were hit particularly hard during this COVID-19 pandemic, and we gave them each $15,000, and, and most of them were able to double that and in some cases triple that amount. We also gave the delta of the 350,000, that would be 305 to about 110 different businesses that had been uh, impacted by COVID-19. So why am I bringing that up again? Not, not just to talk about the past, but the, the Rotary Club here in Bernie, the Rotary Foundation specifically, <clears throat> has taken on a challenge to try and match that entire amount. And what they would like to do is raise enough funds uh, to certainly give another 15000 each to the three charities that I mentioned, the three nonprofits. And the way they're doing that now, you may have seen some of their signs around town. They, they have the, the bent barbell on there and they talk about the Bernie Strong program. Uh, there's an option where you can text to a phone number, dollars. Uh, they have a new program they asked me to announce this morning, so I'm happy to announce it. It's a little bit of a challenge, and this is called the Bernie Pop 15. And their, their thinking is if you can just give $15, if each of us gave $15 to the Rotary Foundation, um, that would add up to about $350,000 that can be used for, again, those not-for-profits and other businesses that have been impacted by COVID-19. So again, it's uh, Bernie Pop 15, and you text that to 91999, uh, and I'm actually gonna do that while I'm talking to you right now. Now, what's in it for everybody? We are going to issue an ice bucket challenge. Now, I know that's a throwback when ice bucket challenges were popular for different reasons, but the Rotary Club wants to do an ice bucket challenge, and for every $1,000 of incremental dollars that are raised, uh, again, this is going to go back straight into our community. There's no overhead cost out of any of this. Um, then somebody's going to have an ice bucket dousing. And I get to do the very first challenge today. And I challenge Bill Bird. You are the first ice bucket challenge for the Rotary Club Bernie Pop 15 program. Um, let's demonstrate as a community how we can actually just come together and support our local businesses and our local charities. I think that we have a wonderful community that always does that. And this is just one more way that we can demonstrate to our community that we are Bernie Strong. We are a community that cares, and we're a community that wants to get involved and help those around us. So that's, that's it for today, folks. Um, I texted my Bernie Pop 15. I would encourage you, if you can, do the same. And Bill Bird, you're gonna be the first one that gets the Ice Bucket Challenge. Thanks, everybody. Have a good day.